some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we've got a Canadian Sovtar who turns what should have been a simple speeding ticket into a failure to comply with a breathalyzer, then into an arrest, then his car gets impounded and he has a potential fine of upwards of $10,000. Wow. Hey, kiddies, do you still think being a sovereign citizen is a cool thing to be? Well, think again. And on that note, let's all sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <clears throat> Hi, officer. Hello. How's it going? Good. Mind rolling down the window so we can talk, officer? I can hear you. Okay, I'm not okay. But we're gonna start it this way. License and registrations, you're being investigated for excessive speeding. I had you at 144 kilometers an hour in a 100 zone. Plus, you are passing on a double solid line. License and registration. What's your name and badge number? License and registration, or else I'm going to be detaining you for obstruction. I will get that for you. Don't worry. I just want your, your name and Sir, badge number. step out of your vehicle, please. Why? Step out of your vehicle. You're being detained right now for obstruction. I'm going to give you the information you want. I asked you to step out of your vehicle. I need a supervisor, please. I want to speak to your manager. Hey, Blockhead, you were asked three times for your driver's license and three times to step out of the vehicle after you failed to comply with that. What do you think a supervisor is going to get you in this case? Uh -oh. Step out of the vehicle. I'm uh, scared. Step out of your vehicle now, please. I need a supervisor. Right now, you are being detained. For I will comply with everyone. Officer. Sir, please step out of your vehicle. I will give you my license and registration. Sir, I've asked you to step out of your vehicle. You're being detained. What purpose do I need to step out of my vehicle Step for? out of your vehicle, sir. What purpose? Sir, you've been detained right now for obstructing the police officer. I need you to step out of your vehicle. This Canadian officer has been awfully generous to this soft tart. Most other people would have pulled him out of the car by now. But hey, I mean, teach their own. I'm worried. I need a supervisor. Sir, I need you to turn off your vehicle and step out of your vehicle right now, please. I need a supervisor, please. You seem like you're awfully timid in this situation. You've stated that you're scared several times. Are you sure you want to be a sovereign citizen? Because you know what? This is going to happen quite frequently if you continue down this path. Is it really worth it, dude? Because I really don't think you can cut it. You just don't have the cojones to be one. Yep. So, sir, I just have something to read to you. Yeah. Ten four. I just have something to read to you for the uh, driving behavior. Lego Vicky. So, sir. In accordance with the provision of the criminal code and lawful execution of my duty, you're required to provide a sample of your breath into an approved screening device when operating a motor vehicle. I hereby demand that you provide a sample of your breath immediately, suitable for analysis using an approved screening device, and to accompany me for the purpose of enabling such samples to be taken. Do you understand? What crime have I committed? Pardon me? What crime have I committed? He stated it as soon as you talked to him. Speeding. And now that you're acting like a complete moron, he's suspecting you of DUI. And just like in the United States, they're both crimes. So a little advice. Stop with this sovereign citizen garbage and uh, you'll be a lot better off. Sir, do you understand that? I just request you do a mandatory breast sample. Do you understand? I don't answer questions. I need Sorry. you to step out of your vehicle. To when your supervisor, samples, when sir? your supervisor gets here, I will comply. 
Pardon me? When your supervisor gets here, I will comply. Sir, that's not the question. You'd have to comply right now. You've just been advised to do a mandatory breast sample. Are you going to step out of the vehicle and comply? I need a supervisor. If you do not comply, the um, punishment for not complying is the same as if you provide a sample and you blow over. Do you understand? I will provide a sample. I'm not drunk. Then you need to step out of your vehicle right now, sir. I'm worried for my safety. I need a supervisor, please. Sir, you're not. Yes, I am. Have you got an extra go-to 10 line? At this point, he's just continuously repeating the, uh, solve tart script like a damn broken record. I mean, come on, dude. If this had been a normal traffic stop, it'd have been over a long time ago, but you keep on spouting off this BS, and look where it keeps kidding you. So, just so you know, if you do not step out of your vehicle and comply, that is going to be a refusal. I am complying with you. I don't understand why you want me out of the vehicle. The Sir, only reason I, I am worried about getting out of my vehicle. Dude, you have not complied with anything yet. You say you do, but uh, your actions speak louder than words, and your actions are certainly screaming at this point. Would you like my driver's license? Sir, I need you to... I, I want to, to help you. Right I now. will give you a breast sample, but I do not want to step out of my vehicle. That is not the option. The option is to step out of Well, I need a supervisor then, so I can get a second opinion. Sir? Please. Yeah, second opinion. Uh, here you go. Uh, don't be a soft hard moron and end up having to pay $10,000 because of your own inept stupidity. I mean, it's your own fault that you turned what could have been a simple speeding ticket into something a lot more than it should have been. I need you to step out of your vehicle right now, please. I will give you a breast sample. I will give you my ID. I will give you my insurance. Sir, I do not want to step out. Of, this works. I do not want to step out of my vehicle. Oh, so now you want to start cooperating? Well, dude, it could already be too late for that. Sir, we do not work on your timeline and what you want. You've been detained right now for obstruction. Plus, you know, you've been detained for fail to provide a sample. I will give you the sample. You have to do it immediately, which means forthwith. Then give it to right me, and I'll give it to you. I'll do it to the window. Sir, if you do not step out right now, it's going to be a refusal. We're not doing that at a later date. I will do it right now. Give it to me. Pardon me? I will do it right now. Give it to me. I need you to step out of the vehicle for such samples to be taken. I don't want to step out of my vehicle. Then that is going to be a refusal. So now you're being detained for impair for a refusal of uh, breath Wow, well, you guys are such tyrants, man. Give me the sample. Get put your phone on top of there, please. Walk with me over here. I want to be on camera. Sir? I want to record this, that's all. I just want to record Hands this. behind your back, please. You're being detained. For my safety. You're doing yours. Sir, just stay in front of my camera, please. Sir, over here, please. I want to stay by my camera for my safety. I don't want to go away from my camera. I sir, want like go with your own hands. Sorry. Over here, please. You're going back of my place, please, sir. One pair of pants later. Dinged up car. C M H A. That it might be. I don't know. No, it's a little off. Oh shit. She has some history out of the Lower Mainland, but it's old, like pirates missing, things like that. He's mm -hmm. very got very few entries. You got him. Okay, he was charged with the failure to comply with DUI breathalyzer. In Canada, it pretty much means the same thing as testing positive for a DUI. His license was suspended for 90 days, his car impounded for 7 days, and he was potentially facing five to $10,000 in uh, fines and legal fees. Well, all I can say about that is if you're going to act stupid, you're going to pay the price. And if you're going to be stupid, you might as well have deep pockets because you're going to be paying out the ass. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.